Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I'm going to show you loft modeling in ARCHICAD. So what is loft modeling? Loft modeling is creating something between two profiles. First you will draw first profile or section. After that you make your second profile and there will be a translation between them and in the end you will see a loft effect. This is what we'll learn in this video. When you are going to use your loads, actually I don't know. Maybe you can use it for your interior designs, maybe your exterior designs or a kind of another object which you need to use for another purpose. But if you master for this modeling technique, you can use it because you can't be sure where you need to use. Alright, before beginning the tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial is going to help this channel with YouTube algorithms and I suggest you to subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials like this. Let's put all of these informations aside and let's begin our tutorial. Alright guys, now we are in ARCHICAD and our first technique goes through with the shell tool. Let's go to shell tool and we are going to change our construction method. We are going to use this detailed one and for the geometry method we are going to use this rule. Let's click them and change the structure type to simple. To make this simple, first in the floor plan you will draw your first shape, your first profile. So we can start from somewhere here and make a straight line, something like this. And we are going to decide the thickness, height, we can change it later. And let's click OK. Now you will see these connecting lines and make sure drawing your second profile from this side. If you start drawing for this, this part of the shape, you will get a twisted model which we don't want to use. So we are going to start from this, this part. Now we can click somewhere here and somewhere here. Again, let's place the same same point to finish the shape and we will get something like this. Let's hit F3 and our model is this and you will see a transition effect between those two profiles. If I change the first shape and from curve to straight line, we will get a load effect. We can change this to, or we can give this a zigzag effect. You can make this in the ground floor too. This is the first profile bottom, and this is the top. Let's click the blue lines and let's give some zigzag effect. Well, where we can use this? For instance, we can create a parasol for our project. Let's create. We are going to make a parasol. I'm gonna delete this. Go to share tool again. And let's create a simple line again. We will fix the distance later. And this time we are going to start from here to here. Maybe we can fix the lines to straight. Another straight line. Something like this. And we are going to look this from this south elevation. We will see something like this. From this elevation, let's rotate with 90 degrees. And place our story one. Let's just make straight lines to equal. We don't have an option here, so 
let's look it from the user division yeah now we can see it and actually i want this line to finish from the top of the first level After that, we can elevate bottom lines. And this is so thick, so we can reduce the thickness to one. All right, now we can go to 3D window. As you can see here, our land is too low. We are going to fix that from ground floor. In the ground floor, we want to have a rectangle shape. So we are going to draw a 45 degree straight line. And we will move this profile with this move profile. And mesh with the straight line. And yeah, now we can see the parasol nearly and only we need is rising up this point and this point where we can do that from the elevations. Let's use this straight line. All right, yeah, maybe a little more to second story, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Let's change the surface to a soft color, something like this. And let's place our columns. We can use circular if this corner was true. Let's check it in the 3D. Yeah, why not? And copy to here, here, and here. And for the last step, we can increase the height of the columns. And you can give a slope your columns. Yes, delete this and create a symmetry from the center. Just like that. Actually, I cannot remember the actual shape, but it will look something like this. Anyway, this is only one simple object that you can create with simple loft modeling. We have used shell tool. Now I am going to show something different. Let's go to ground floor again. What if, if you want to turn a rectangle to a circle. Actually, you cannot do this with the shell tool. We are going to make something different. In the 3D, we need to see something like this. This corner will be connected to this corner and this corner to here and maybe another corner here. This modeling type goes through the morph tool. For the first step, we need to draw our profiles. Our first profile here and our second profile here. And we will match them. 
to their center. Something like this. Let's pick up the morph tool and we are going to use spacebar to create first shape. After that, we are going to click our newly created morph and again, do not click somewhere else. You go to morph again, hit the spacebar and click your circle. You will see two additional green border lines. Our first border, this rectangle, our second border is this circle. In the 3D window, we will see this. So, what happens if we elevate this interior circle? Let's do this. We are going to hit Ctrl and Shift and click circle. After that, you can click the point and you can use this drag. And you can give a distance. Yeah, there we go. We have created a morph. All you can just hit Ctrl plus 9, give it direct input, and click. It's the same. Once you have this, you can continue your modeling. Maybe you can give a chamfer effect. Or something different. Let's continue. Create another rectangle. And this time, let's create a triangle. If you want to make something like this, you need to be careful with those intersection points. Don't let them to be there. Once you create your shape, click Morph, click your first profile, again click your newly created Morph, go to Morph tool, and you can click one by one for this example. After that, again, Control plus Shift, Create the triangle, control plus 9, and click OK. Maybe if you want to fix this model, you can use ground floor, this point to this point, and this is to this edge. Bad. Once you have something like this, you can twist it to hit control plus E and you can just rotate. I want to use a circle and a star for this time. For the star, we are going to go to object and type in star here, we will see something like this. Let's click OK and click somewhere here. After that, we go to edit, reshape and explode into current view. Uncheck this one and click OK. Once we have this, we can scale it up. and place right into the circle. Actually, it looks like a Dragon Ball, isn't it? Click the Morph, place, again, your star. You can do it in the ground floor.
and this is what we get. This is another interesting shape. Let's give it a chamfer. And maybe we can give some smooth effects. And this is how you can create loves in ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed with this tutorial and learned something new. If so, please do not forget to like the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. I want to try to answer your questions and maybe I can create a tutorial for your suggestions. By the way, if you want to download this project file and also my other project files, you can also go to my Patreon page. In that page, you can download this project file and also my other project files. In addition to that, you will also find more advanced arcade tutorials. Alright friends, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.